Now, I showed you at the top of the program how police were called into Columbia University in New York City to break up that occupation by pro-Palestinian protesters. But the problem, of course, is much broader. Watch here as a Jewish student is blocked from attending university in California. This is what they do. Everybody, look at this. Look at this. I'm a UCLA student. I deserve to go here. We pay tuition. This is our school. And they're not letting me walk in. Now, this stuff is shocking, and little wonder the Jewish people have likened it to the Nazis in Germany in the 1930s, because that's when they blocked Jews from going to universities. But true to form, on the ABC, the Australian Jewish Association was criticised even for making this comparison. For example, the Australian Jewish Association has said that, um, has called the um, demonstrations at the University of Sydney, um, called them Hitler Youth Rallies, um, and has said that the, um, there will be a strong response from the Jewish community at the University of Sydney. Now, uh, I know that rhetoric is high and emotions are high, but I think to be calling these sort of rallies Hitler Youth Rallies, yeah. um, I really think is also from the pro-Israeli side um, using rhetoric that is, is dangerous. Let me bring in the Australian Jewish Association Chief now, David Adler. David, thanks for joining us. Uh, I find this astonishing that it's dangerous for you to call out this rampant anti-Semitism, which is literally, factually, we see it time and again, blocking Jewish people, Correct. even Jewish professors, from going to university. Look, correct. We, we are supposed to be learning the lessons of history and... Perhaps the ultimate lesson coming out of the Holocaust was supposed to be never again. And that means never again in all its aspects. So we, one of the things that happened in the Holocaust was uh, aggression on university campuses, harassment, intimidation, uh, blockage and exclusion. And we're seeing some of those features uh, in Australia right now. There are famous photographs of physical blockage of students, Jewish students, uh, being prevented from entering universities. And the clip you showed is very similar. we've got those now. There you go. Yeah. There's, there's the 1930s, top of frame, obviously, black, black and white. And below that, what is happening on university campuses? Now, there's, a, now there's an old rule, David, that the first person to invoke Hitler kind of loses the argument. But surely the one time you can invoke the Nazis and Hitler is when you have people blocking people from going to university because they are Jewish. Absolutely right. Uh, and as I said, this is a historical fact. Uh, it happened. And we're seeing uh, echoes of it in uh, 2024, which is really scary. And we're not the only ones making the comparison. There are organisations in the United States making the comparison. And we've been approached by a couple of Holocaust survivors who um, witnessed some of this occurring and warning us how dangerous it is in this early stages. And our government is missing in action, uh, Chris. And I think the minister responsible for... Uh, university campuses is the Minister for Education, Jason Clare, and we have heard almost nothing from him. Well, he hasn't even called out Randa Abdel Fattah, who I showed at the top of the program, has been getting children to chant Intifada hmm. uh, and who's been getting government grants to study Islamophobia. Uh, um, and this stuff needs to be called out. This is our taxpayers' dollars fueling her activism, and her activism is supporting Intifada. Uh, you're right, and I'll tell you what else this is similar to. This is similar to the terrorist grooming that occurs under Hamas, uh, and there are many videos of young children uh, being indoctrinated uh, with slogans, mm. and we have video clips of them being interviewed coming out of... The schools. They're being taught to hate Israel yeah. and Jewish people. I just want to go to some live pictures now from California because I mentioned also, of course, uh, in New York City, police have now got rid of the pro-Palestinian protesters who are occupying buildings there now and mm. violence has broken out in California at the University of, um, of um, UCLA, the University of California, Los Angeles. 
uh, and the calm is being restored there now as police on the site. But there have been students clashing there. Now, we can presume it could be students who support Israel or Jewish students clashing with the protesters. We don't know for certain yet. But just briefly, your... Your, your observations about what's happening in the US and what should happen at Sydney University? Well, uh, with, without a doubt, um, the university administration needs to deal with it before it gets to the violent clashes that we see uh, in the United States. Uh, expression is one thing, but extremism is another, and incitement uh, is further, and all those things are happening on the university campuses uh, the camps uh, need to be removed and there needs to be proper codes of conduct which are uh, enforced, not just lip service. We've had the University of Sydney um, not take action against the chanting of Intifada. Mm. And anyone with the remotest education would know Intifada is a violent uprising. Exactly. It involves suicide bombings and killing civilians en masse and stabbings. Uh, and to be calling for that on the University of, of Sydney goes beyond political discussion. It well is appalling. Thanks for joining us, David. I appreciate your time.